these people, very, very nasty people, call me guilty, I'm not guilty, I've never been guilty in my life, I'm an innocent man, very bad judge, biased judge, tells them that they can convict me of anything, I'm not convicted of anything, you will see in appeal, but I have a message for them, I'm like the emperor, you can take your Jedi weapon and strike me down with it, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete, you will be part of my team, you will help me get elected, I'm like Kenobi, they hit him with the glow stick, and he becomes more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Just remember, American people, they're not after me. They're after you. I'm just standing in their way. Yes, I do have a T-Man impression. I'm sorry that I subjected you to that. I thought it was actually halfway decent. Um, my phone has exploded in the last couple hours over this whole conviction thing, and I think there are a lot of people that have their pulses all the way up, and I just want to take a break and talk about this, talk y'all off a ledge, because I know that a lot of you out there really like this dude. Personally, I don't really care for him, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. A lot of you think that the sky is falling, and they're trying to knock the dude off the ballot or whatever. Cool your jets. We're going to talk about this after a quick word from today's sponsor. Quick service announcement for all of y'all. We have now two discount codes prepped up for you guys over at Mission First Tactical. One is for the... All day, everything stuff, everything from their backpacks to their drinkware to the holsters to even the new uh, translucent magazines that they just came out with. Really like the purple ones, by the way. And then a second code that is for everything that is getting ready to go away. That is going to be a rolling list that's going to change with time, but it's going to be like 50 or 60% off in many cases. So you can find all that information over at the affiliates page and special thanks to Mission First Tactical for making today's video possible. All right, so everybody's favorite populist was convicted on all 34 counts of some made up stuff that they came up with to charge him with, right? Okay, well, I think we're all on the same page, right? 34 counts, guilty of all of them. Uh, what is the purpose of this? A lot of people, especially the people who've been blowing me up in my phone, are like, they're going to throw him in jail. First of all, just about everything that I've heard about this thing, I haven't been covering it super closely, but I've been clo covering it closely enough to know that uh, literally everything that happened in this thing is reversible on appeal. And I'm not even an attorney, okay? Like, there are so many procedural problems with this that overturned on appeal. He's scheduled to be sentenced in July sometime. And do you think that that is on accident? No, that is right in the middle of campaign season. They're going to smack him with a whole bunch of fines that he's probably going to get reversed on appeal anyway. The purpose of this is to deplete some of his war chest and spend his time defending this instead of campaigning. And if you think that they're going to throw the man in jail, you are outside your mind. If you put him in jail, then you have all but ensured. I think that they already did with this whole debacle, but it's early enough that, you know, maybe people's short attention spans, uh, they'll forget enough about it that it, you know, they, they won't be as angry about it. But if you throw the dude in jail, do you think that his team is going to just stop campaigning? Could you imagine the TV ads that they could run with him behind bars? If you think that the persecuted political prisoner propaganda, ooh, that was a really good alliteration, Kurt. If you think that the propo up to this point has been a little bit heavy, it, it would get absolutely insane. It's already going to be nuts off of what they've already done. Could you imagine if they decided to throw the dude in jail? Like, it would almost ensure a landslide victory uh, in the coming election. The purpose of this is twofold. As I mentioned before, it is to, to mess with him, to deplete his resources on the campaign trail, to hopefully give their chosen some kind of edge politically, right? Distract the dude. And then the second thing that they're trying to do is get somebody, one of you, to go do something stupid just like a whole bunch of people did on January 6th so that they could drum up a whole bunch of counter-propaganda against the people who support him. So, please, calm the fuck down. This is 
actually probably the best thing that could happen to his campaign, short of them actually throwing him in jail. We can all admit that this is politically motivated, but what they've done so far is so insanely stupid without going into a whole lot of detail that I have a hard time even believing that it's real. Like what I'm saying is, is this actually part of the plan? Like, is he uh, like a puppet master? And he's just like running the show from behind the scenes. Hey, let's do this thing because it'll make it look like my enemies did it to me and we'll just roll house because I'm a political dissident. It's like they're playing two different games. It's like he's sitting at the table with his partner playing Euchre and then the other people that are playing against him are playing Go Fish or something like that. They, they don't get that they got a shot This kind of crap only galvanizes more people. People that would not go vote for the dude who are still pissed about what he did in his last administration are going to be like, yeah, you know what? It's not a very hard jump to make that if, and he's a master of this, if they can target him and he's got really good lawyers and a huge war chest to defend himself... What are you going to do, right? If they'll go, do it to him, what do they do to you? It's really not that hard to uh, make that jump for a lot of people. I've said it before, if I've said it a thousand times, but I'll say it again. I'm not a Trump dude. I don't like the guy. I really don't like what he did with the Second Amendment in his first administration. He sold us down the river. That said, from the outside looking in, I don't know how y'all live in a bubble that thick. And speaking specifically to the people who are orchestrating this whole thing, you are handing the man a victory. (laughs) I'm just here to laugh and jeer as y'all lose your cheer. Because if you just let it go away, then you probably would have, it probably would have gone away. But now I think you really stepped in it. It's going to be a great time to watch because it's we're going to go back to the old ways of waking up every morning to see, well, what did that crazy dude do to piss them off today?